up guys, it's Cerna here from No Really Games, and today I'm coming at you guys with a brand new Maxed Out episode. So, we got an awesome one today, and if you guys aren't already familiar, just for our new subscribers, quick update. If you guys aren't familiar with the Maxed Out series slash episodes, what we basically do in them is, and what it consists of is, that we take one troop that's available in Clash of Clans, solely one troop, and we go into battle with it when it's maxed out. So, say we take an archer, for example, we'll max it out all the way to level 6, stick it in the army camp, and we'll go all the way and attack with it. So... Um, obviously I love this series a lot, that's why I'm excited about it. It's a really fun series to do, we've done P.E.K.K.A.s in the past, we have, we've done uh, Wizards, we've done Dragons, so not many Max Out episodes we had so far, but today guys, um, we got something awesome. So right now what I want to do is, I want to go into my research laboratory, show you guys my future plans for what I want to upgrade, what I got upgraded right now. Um, for Town Hall Level 8, obviously you guys know that I've upgraded everything to level 5, kind of maxed out all my troops, kind of. Uh, not my spells, though. I still need to do my spells a lot. So, you know, I got those level 5 wizards, which I'm really proud about. By the way, level 6 wizards are coming soon, if you saw that uh, Facebook post that they posted up and um, Landon's previous video, or one of those previous videos. But anyway, you guys will always notice that something that I've never done in my videos, and that's going to be basically the main topic of today's video, that I've never done anything with Dark Elixir troops. Now, you guys are going to say I'm a huge scrub, you know, I, I haven't upgraded my Dark Elixir barracks, and uh, basically I've been trying to focus more on my defenses. I'm going to get to all that soon, but today's video, guys, what's going to happen? The minions are going to happen. I'm going to upgrade those minions all the way to level 5 in this video. So... That's the exciting part for today. I know these minions are a big deal. Um, people like to use them a lot, and personally, I think they're awesome. Uh, I use them a few times, just level one, and they work great. So, how is this going to happen today? How is this all going to be po possible for me to upgrade to level five minions? Well, I got to be proud to announce that we are proudly sponsored right now by AppNana. AppNana is going to help us with this max out series. They're going to be supplying us with some money today to upgrade my minions to level five. So. If you guys aren't already uh, familiar with AppNana, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of it because it's an amazing service, guys. Basically what AppNana is, is it's a service that allows you to download free applications just for free off their website. I'm going to have everything in the description below, by the way. We also made a video about AppNana before, so I'll have the, that in the description too. But um, basically what AppNana is, is a service that allows you to download free apps, and they offer that on their website. And after you download those free apps, you get points. So you can use those points in the end to redeem iTunes gift cards, and it works great. At, I mean, it works great. I use it all the time. Um, see, like, if you download one app, and you can just go on it for 30 seconds, and it'll allow you to get, like, 100 or 200 points from it, and it'll go right into your app and an account, and after you redeem enough points, you can get iTunes gift cards, PayPal gift cards, Amazon gift cards, and a bunch of other cool prizes which they offer. So I love AppNana a lot. It's great, and they're sponsoring us today with some money to do these uh, level 5 minions. So thank you so much to AppNana. I really can't thank him enough for this. Um, I hope I can work with you guys again for another video and hopefully they can keep sponsoring us with other videos. If I want to do another Max Out series or a Let's Build series or something like that, um, that would be awesome if we can have ongoing sponsorships. So um, thank you so much AppNana again. Everything is going to be in the description below guys so don't forget to check that out for sure. But AppNana today, they're going to be sponsoring us with a pretty good amount of money to get these level 5 minions, which I'm completely stoked about. So today they're going to be sponsoring us with $15, guys. And I know it's going to take a little more money to actually buy Dark Elixir to upgrade the level 5 minions. So that's going to be coming out of the money that I actually got from AppNana. I have a total of $60 of AppNana money, just of AppNana iTunes gift cards, technically, at my disposal right here that I'm going to use in this video. And I'll use the least amount I actually need to get the Dark Elixir, but... We're going to start off here by getting some gems for it. So let's um, go into our gem account right here, or wherever we're going to go to get gems, and we're going to get that 20. So they're sponsoring us with 15, so I'm really proud of that. Thank you so much, AppNana. Um, 15, and then I'm going to be paying 5 out of my 60. So now I have $55 left out of my own AppNana spendings, or whatever you want to call it, to actually spend on. So um, let me type in my password here. You guys aren't going to see that part. <laughs> and... Um, Let's go ahead and do that. So now we received 2,500 gems worth $20. We're going to be proudly spending that on the uh, Dark Closure that we need to actually buy those level 5 minions. And what's basically going to be happening here is I might need more gems. So I'm going to go buy the Dark Elixir and then go into my research probably. And um, obviously, obviously I'm going to go into my research, upgrade it, finish it, and then buy more Dark Elixir, I guess. And then upgrade, finish it. It's going to be that kind of process. So let's go ahead, guys, and let's go into our... Um, Let's go into our gem facility over here. And you know what? Let's actually buy 2,500 more gems because I know I'm going to have to buy it in the end anyway. So let's just buy that and receive 2,500 more gems. And that's coming out of my account again at the uh, AppNana disposal. So 
uh, which is worth $60. So I have $60 worth of iTunes gift card to spend, and AppNan is supporting me with 15 So um, can't thank him enough. So let's. we have 5,000 gems now. I think that's good enough for at the moment. We might need more. Might need just a little, little more. So before I go there, I did want to show you guys something in my um, battle logs or attack logs or whatever it is. So going to my attack logs, I got attacked, and it's kind of funny because it's kind of coincidental. I'm doing the... Um, 100 or I don't know how many minions I can fit 110 or something like that So I'm doing like 110 minions today level 5 and I got attacked with this new def defense that I'm running over here Not my final defense because I'm losing a lot at this trophy level, but pretty high trophy level I got attacked by 110 level 5 minions and I survived it guys So we're gonna try to beat somebody today with 110 level 5 minions So let's take a look at their stats really quickly before we upgrade them they have uh, pretty good stats, I think. I mean, they do 35 damage per second, which is pretty awesome. And when they're fully upgraded, I know they're going to do a ton more. I don't know yet, but um, let's go upgrade. We don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's just go do the stuff, guys. Let's go upgrade. Where am I going right now? Uh, we gotta gotta go in the gem facility again. Buy that dark elixir. Buy the full amount. I think I can hold like 80,000. So let's buy this right now for 2,300 gems. That's a hefty amount. Gosh, 2,300 gems for 80,000 dark elixir. The reason I don't really let's go upgrade right here to level two guys and let's finish it off and uh yeah i was saying like the reason i don't usually upgrade and we're just going to go through this process right now upgrading to level three just going off thirty thousand. we we're going to go for another thousand and they're at level four I, can we do it we can okay so we got the level four minions um dang it we're just one level away so you know what we're going to go get some more gems uh how much do i need actually let me um let me see, because if I have 20,000 right now, and I think the next upgrade is going to be that much, so I think the best option would be to buy, um, if it's 40,000, then, and if I have 20,000, then I think the best option would be to buy just the, uh, I guess I do have to buy the 40, yeah, I do have to buy that, so... Let's just go buy the simple amount of gems that we need. You know what, I think buying the $20 ones is just going to be the most beneficial. So let's get 2,500 more gems. That's again coming out of my disposal, so let's go and do that. Um buy those and then I think we, sh we should have enough gems to actually buy another pack of dark elixir which we're going to do okay you know what we don't even have to buy a pack of dark elixir let's just upgrade them now because it's just going to come directly out of the gems I need so level 5 minions right there guys level 5 minions max leveled can't believe it's like that I want to test I want to see actually how they look like that's probably the most important thing right here um, not that I want to know how they attack too oh shoot I need more money to actually get dark elixir to train them so um, I, th I think we could just buy a simple five pack of them. We could buy five dollar pack of gems and then we could do it. So because we don't have enough gems to actually upgrade to, we don't have enough gems to actually buy the uh, minions themselves, which is kind of a fail. I didn't think about that. So five, five gems per minion, that's not worth it. Um, that's crazy actually. So but I think we just need 8,000 more dark elixir to actually complete this. So I think the best option would be to buy 500 gems for $5 and complete it right there. So that's all the gems we need for today, thankfully, guys, because with the gems, we can just go buy that 8,000 dark elixir. That's going to complete the amount we need to actually train them up. So um, now we got that, guys. Let's train up the minions. We're going to gem them through because we got extra gems right there. And um, it's, I, I just want to see how they look, honestly. This is going to be sick. So we're going to... Finish those. Oh, they look so cool. Oh my gosh, they're like glowing and then they got the black on them. So different compared to the level ones. I should have actually showed you every single level what they look like. So I should have trained up like one level of each. That would have been pretty cool. But whatever, whatever. Uh, we still got them. That's pretty awesome. So uh, train up these. I, I don't know how many it's going to be. 100 or 110? Um, wait, 100, what am I talking about? 110. What do we got now? We got like an army of minions. This is awesome. So all our army camps full with minions, guys. All these black little ant guys that are flying around this looks awesome can't wait to attack with them honestly so 100 level 5 minions if we had higher army camps we could obviously do it and um, i should be army, i should be upgrading my army camp soon for a uh, new max out series with the town of level 9 because i am available to upgrade the army camps right now so um this is absolutely going to be epic i can't believe i actually just got them i think we should go attack right now all those gems hopefully will be worth it i don't know what the outcome of these battles are going to be because each battle is going to be different. I want to do uh, a lot of battles because obviously it doesn't take, uh, it takes a lot of Dark Elixir to actually train up these because it's like a thousand Dark Elixir just for one batch of two of 100 level five minions. So uh, obviously I hope it's going to be worth it. Hope it's going to be a good battle. Let's just take a look at the stats here from 35 damage in the first one to 50 damage in this one. Now we got 78 hit points and uh, yeah, 10 Dark Elixir for each one. So absolutely awesome, guys. Let's just go attack right now at this trophy level. I think it's going to be a little challenging for us, but hopefully we can get... I'm mostly going for um, like one stars or two stars. I mean, three stars. I really hope I can get three stars. And my level of competitiveness and, you know, if I want to get there, might kind of raise because I might just do a million battles and maybe not get three stars. But 
Uh, we're going to see what we can do. So hopefully I get three stars in one battle. This one now, um, it has Inferno Tower. I'm not going to go for that one. I don't know how well, I, because I haven't experimented with the minions that much. I don't know if the uh, air mines or the air defenses or the expos or the Inferno Towers or whatever, Clan Castle Wizards, what affects them the most? Because I know one thing does splash damage to the wizards and it's like super OP. I don't know if that's the air defenses. So I'm obviously going to have to try, or the wizard towers actually, the wizard towers or just Clan Castle Wizards. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know what does the most damage, but we got to see. Hmm, so this one does look pretty good. I mean, it's all right to attack. Obviously, I'm going with minions, so I'm not worrying about anything on the ground. But um, the only reason I'm saying this is good is because of the air defenses scattered to the right, or the top right, and then uh, the left, because they're mostly near the edges. So um, at this point, like I said before, I don't know what I'm really looking forward to. I don't know what's going to be the outcome of anything that's going to happen here. If it's going to be the wizard towers, that's going to be the main thing. But... Overall, I'm just going to learn from this one. This might just be my learning experience. Then I'll uh, progress through the next battle. So hopefully I can do well. And by the way, the reason I'm not using spells and um, I hopefully won't be able to use my Barbarian King or Archer Queen. Archer Queen and Barbarian King are just like total backup resources that I have that, you know, if there's anything that's needed to get a 50% on something, then I'm just going to put it out. But um, because this isn't maxed out, I can't use the Rage spells. And um, that's just the rules of the maxed out, I guess. You know, I, I can only use the one troop that I'm actually maxing out. So... Um, there's not much strategy in this, honestly, because, I, I mean, the only strategy is don't get them, oh, shoot, see, these Seeking Air Mines, okay, so they just took out, like, four of the minions at the same time, so I should probably look out for those, another Seeking Air Mine, there you go, only took out one, I think, so, uh, not much strategy here, honestly, just putting them out into clumps, they go ham, though, like, dropping black bombs everywhere, uh, only, already took out one air defense, so, oh, shoot, look at that Wizard Tower, just, oh, my, they just took it out like crazy, I don't know, what are we, do you think we're going to get 50%? I think these are going to go off over here. Good that one air defense is upgrading or else, you know, that would be kind of scary. But um, overall, they're just dropping black crap all over the place. And I don't, okay, he has, archer tower, he has archers too in his clan castle and more archers over here. Uh, 46, come on, come on, come on. Do something, do something. Okay, no, 46%. Shoot. Okay, if I lose this one, I lose 24 trophies, and, you know, I'm our Barbarian King and Archer Queen said, I think we're just, something's telling me not to use this Archer Queen or Barbarian King, but I kind of have to now because, you know, if I don't get the 50%, I'm going to lose 24 trophies. That's going to be detrimental to my trophy count. So, you know what, sorry guys, I got to put it out, and uh, we're going to have to learn from this experience and not use these uh, Barbarian King or Archer Queen next time. Let's just get 50% and the battle really quickly so not much damage gets toward them, and um, that's going to be a quick 50 now, I do want to do another battle. I want to do probably as many battles as I can in this. Don't want to bore you guys either with them, but I do want to do as many battles as I can. I think it's fun if I just do level 5 minion gameplay. Honestly, level 5 minions aren't meant to be used in this way. I think they're meant to be used with, you know, um, golems and dragons and balloons and all that stuff. So that's really what it's supposed to be used for. But, um, you know, the minions are good. I think they're good for level 5, and they do a good job just by themselves. So don't use it like this. I'm just trying to show you what they can do actually by themselves. Uh, they kind of did a good job. They only got 46% on that base. If you guys thought that base was hard, then awesome. I thought it was a more easy base. I probably could have taken that base out with like uh, archers, giants, healers, and some wizards. Maybe the minions. I'll bring more get minion gameplay for sure. Now that I got level 5, I can obviously go off with them. But um, I can bring minion gameplay with like wizards and healers, which I think would be really cool. Because the minions would just be like the backup support to kill those air defenses off super quick. So um, this one, guys, it looks like a great find for sure. Just right off the bat, noticing that those two expos are unloaded. So that's just going to be a huge benefit right off the bat for me. Um, the other thing that I see is, you know, the air defenses, they're kind of expendable. I think I could take them out really quickly. And then the only thing I should be worried about is the seeking air mines. Dude, I, I mean, I don't know, you know, the seeking air mines, if it's the red one, then it does some damage, but I haven't encountered the black one yet with the minions. So, um, I don't know how that's going to be against the level 5 minions. Hopefully they can survive. I'm obviously going to go for this one right now. And what I'm also worrying about is the wizard towers, especially the middle one, because that's going to be when they get all in the center, they want to go for everything, it's going to affect it. So my goal for this battle is to either get one stars or two stars for this battle. And um, as bottom line it, I think I want to get one stars. If I get one star, I'll be happy. If I get you two stars, then I'll uh, rip my pants off. But I think um, the best place to attack would be from on the bottom side, because I could just go forward and get everything there. And um, let's do that. So let's just put our minions on the sides. I don't want to really clump them up because that's what usually leads to my downfall at least. Uh, they'll get in clumps anyway, so as you're seeing here. They just all go for the same thing for some reason and just be stupid. They all go in clumps and then those air mines take them out. My biggest enemy. So I hope he doesn't have those air mines. I think that there's probably a Tesla in that middle spot. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Tesla there. And if I ever see like those little dots somewhere... 
like just one little crevice or opening in it, I'm probably just gonna put a minion there and test it out. So minions going off right now. I'm like, like they're good in clumps. Like they take out stuff, but that's their probably their biggest weakness also. So yeah, see, they're just that wizard tower just takes them out like crazy. And uh, but they're doing a great job. The resources weren't a big deal here because I'm high trophy level. And uh, usually when you're high trophy level, you shouldn't really worry about resources. But then again, I'm I'm doing a minion gameplay and. Uh, I shouldn't be going for high resource really. I'm just showing you guys what the minions can do. Got a one star by the way. That's awesome. So one stars uh, didn't go for the tunnel. Maybe if I started from the top, I might have gotten a better outcome. But I think from the bottom, it was beneficial for me because pushed up, got all the unnecessary stuff that he had in those buildings and uh, kind of easily got the one star there. So didn't get the town hall. Next time, I hope we'll get the town hall though. So we are doing another battle. Usually in the max out series, I do like to stick only to like, you know, two battles because, um, Kind of gets boring after a while, but I kind of like this gameplay. I kind of like just training up the minions quickly, jumping them up, and going in for another battle. Because when I do the, when I've done the previous maxed out series, like when I did the wizard one, you know, I had to wait like literally three hours for the whole entire thing to accomplish processing, and then I could do another battle, and then edit the, edit the video, then show you guys. But I just like this really fluid going through it and um, training up some more minions to go into another battle. So hopefully in the next battle we can get one or two stars again. Uh, I do want to go for three stars. That's like my main main objective in the end. If I can get a three star battle with the minions, I will be more than happy. So those are ready right now. 100 level five minions. I think we're ready to go. So let's just go and attack again, guys. Um, like I said before, guys, I love these level five minions. They just look so awesome. And I think it's going to be a great asset to my whole entire inventory of, you know, what troops I can use and all that stuff. So it's going to be great for this high level gameplay that I want to take and uh, show you to you guys. So luckily this first place that I came along here is a pretty good place to attack. Basically because one air defense is cooking up, as you see, it's not ready to go. And I'm probably going to put my minions on this side. And what I'm going to do right now, yeah, just put my minions on that side and take them out. Oh, he has clean castle troops again. Not that much, thankfully. He didn't have like 25 or 20 of them. So uh, that air defense is hitting him. Looks like the air defense, what I'm finding out is the air defense doesn't do splash damage. So as you see, when the air defense hits, it only takes one. So I can totally tell right now that, you know, the... Um, the air mines are completely OP, and the, you know the Teslas aren't bad at all. They don't do a big damage to them. And yeah, so, what, did the air mine just go off? I think it just went off. So air mines completely OP. I hate those air mines, especially you see air mine again. Look how many it just took out, like twenty of them. So uh, the air mines are actually so bad to these minions. Um, completely wrecks them. And those wizard towers are really bad toward the minions, but. Um, I think the air mines are the worst things. I have to look out for them next time, avoid them in the next battle. And it looks like we got one star. Okay, we got 58%. I think we might be able to clutch this uh, victory right here for two star. If we get that town hall, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, two stars, guys. Excellent. I love that. Okay, so not much to worry about now. We got two stars. That's our accomplishment right there. So thankfully, we got the two stars. I kind of want to do another battle, though. I just feel like... I know I keep saying this, I kind of want to do another battle. Since we got the gems and since we got the Dark Elixir, uh, it's, I might as well, you know, I might as well, when we're still in the gameplay, when we're still in the mood, when we're still in the excitement, we should do another battle. Let's go. So let's um, train up some more minions that was, the, oh, we had like two left over. Wait, did we? Did we even deploy them all? Maybe we didn't gem them all up. I don't know. Whatever. I didn't even see that. So <laughs> I kind of want to know what to upgrade next. Um, probably the next thing I want to upgrade is... Yeah, mostly I want to upgrade my air defense, so that other air defense over there. Anyway, uh, minions are done. Minions are full in the army camp, all ready to go, guys. Uh, let's go to another battle. Let's see what we can do. So right now, and I've been gaming trophies this whole time, so I'm all for it. If I'm gaining trophies, I'm fine. That's why the first one, you know, I didn't even bother not losing trophies. 24 trophies is a huge loss at this place because when you drop 24 trophies, you can drop, you know, you can maybe drop a league even if you're close to that range. So uh, last thing I want to do is drop my league. Okay, so this one, it really looks like an underdeveloped Tunnel Level 10, to be honest with you. The uh, Expo should for sure be upgraded a lot more. At Tunnel Level 10, you should have your Witch, or excuse me, you should have your Archer a little more upgraded to maybe Level 2 or Level 3. Uh, I know the Archer and the Barbarian are really hard to upgrade, by the way. And then everything else in general, you need to have really upgraded stuff to be at Tunnel Level 10. So this guy, I don't know if he can survive getting attacked, because if I had my real setup, I could completely demolish this person. No offense to whoever made it, you know, I could probably demolish the base considering the air defenses that he has and the uh, just the positioning of everything he needs to position the stuff a little better but um overall you know i'm probably going to play this one safe and why i'm saying this is because i want to look for those little gaps see i see gaps over here i don't know if he put those um air mines down or whatever but the place i'm probably going to be attacking is from that back side over there i'm pushing my hands over there but i'm playing it safe right now what i'm doing is i see that crevice right there that little square so i'm putting one thing out if 
I, I'm pretty sure if it's there, it would have already popped up and taken that um, minion out. So I'm not playing with that anymore. I think that's fine. I'm not going to waste any more time. I think just the best option to do, spread around my minions because... In the end, if I put my stuff over here, I'm going to take out a uh, wizard, two wizard towers. I'm going to take out all those three air defenses, hopefully. And, um, you know, with the amount that I'm putting out, 100 of them, they're just not even going to have enough time to even think about doing anything. So that's the only good thing. The air defenses, the one thing that you would think would, uh, you know, attack the minions the most because they do horrible damage to dragons. They do horrible damage to, um, you know, any, any air unit, to be honest with you. But the one thing that they don't do damage to is the minions, which is good. So I don't know if that's a glitch or Supercell intended it to be that you know the wizard tower and these uh air mines are the biggest damaging thing that's one thing that i've learned today the air mines are the huge things that totally completely decimate your minions in clumps so that's really bad anyway um see that wizard tower is just taking out all my minions like that so that's really bad and i got a few left that one air defense is taking them out one by one and we got one star right here can we get two stars come on two stars two stars two stars come on come on come on come on two stars two stars are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? One star only. Oh my god, 47%. I think if we took out that last gold, I think if we took out the last gold storage, it would be 50%. And oh wait, I have 10 more. I have 10 more minions. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's not use the minions. Let's just put our archer queen out there. I want to play it safe. I don't want to waste any more minions or anything because I know that archer tower is going to be taken out as soon as I put it out and the air defense. So let's play it safe. You know, at this point, I already got my one star. I'm already happy. And I think that archer queen, if it's not, yeah, it's already not in the radius of that um, mortar, which I was kind of scared about. But let's end the battle really quickly. We got the two stars, 50%. And um, peace out, guys. That's two stars right there. So that was an awesome battle. I think we did a great job there. So two stars. Uh, yeah, I want to save my level 10. I want to save my level five minions or 10 of them. For the next battle because it would be kind of a waste of dark elixir that's like 100 dark elixir right there just for that so uh, it would be kind of a waste just to get one more star so i think that you know even though i'm not allowed to use the barbarian king or archer queen you know kind of you know bend the rules here and there and use it just for that purpose uh we already got we already won in that battle so i wasn't kind of uh, maybe i should put the rules as this if i have one star already and i'm really close to two stars i should be able to use whatever the hell i want else kind of in the maxed out series let's just leave it at that uh, I know it's going to come and bite me in the back later, but or probably won't, but whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, what am I saying? I'm going totally off tangent. Let's um, train up the minions and go for another battle. So, um, yeah, let's do that. This probably, I hope, I hopefully this can be my last battle. If I can pull off a three star, then I will epically just rip my pants off and my underwear off and run outside the house. Because if I pull a three star on a hard base at this trophy level, I will be happy. I will be one happy son of a gun, so... And, uh, wow, this place, actually, it's pretty surprising. This place actually is, I'm surprised I even found it. 238,000 elixir, which I completely won. It has an inferno tower. Uh, I kind of have some doubts about the inferno tower, what it actually does. So I'll test that in this one now, if it, the inferno tower actually does anything to my minions. But obviously what I'm raving about right now is the fact that the air defenses are completely outside. So that's going to be easy to take care of. Not worried about that at all, for sure. All four air defenses are outside. This person needs to put them inside for sure. Uh, wizard tower is kind of... No, it's outside, so I could take that out pretty quickly. I should be able, if I if I do this right, if I play it out all right, I should be able to get two stars here. What I'm thinking about doing, put them in all on the left side, just going all the way forward and pushing all the way. Um, it might be better to do it on the right side. My heart is telling me to do it on the left side, but then again, you guys are probably saying, you guys are probably saying in the video, go to the left side, sir, go to the right side, sir, to go to the right side. So I don't know. I I might I might go on the bottom actually. Be honest with you maybe i'm maybe i that dude on the bottom i probably but then again left side has more defenses and left side has more of the stuff so left side i'm attacking from okay we'll go to we'll go yeah maybe bottom no you know what more defenses on the left side the arch queen's on the left side still so we're gonna go on the left side okay let's do the left side let's put all the minions over there they're going in they're going hard for the last battle let's see if we can pull off a star if i if i pull up any star here i will be completely happy going for the three star though miraculously it's gonna happen uh they're already just getting demolished <laughs> um Guys, this is the last battle of the Max Out series. Uh, you know, put on my minion so far. It's been a great time. Had an awesome adventure through this. Done a few battles for you guys. So hopefully you can appreciate the work and the craftsmanship that's taking place here with these minions. They're doing an awesome job. Give them a pat on the back for this. Thank you so much. And uh, look at this, taking out the wizard. Maybe it was a better idea to start from the left. Or maybe maybe we should have started from the right, actually. Probably there. Okay, see the Inferno Tower. Is it doing... Now, see, Inferno Tower doesn't do anything to those small troops. Like, the witches that are totally OP doesn't do anything to them. Unless I bet if it gets direct access with the witch, but with the skeletons coming out, it doesn't do anything. One star right there, guys. Got the one star with that town hall. Let's see if we can get two stars now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
48%, 48%. Okay, come, come, oh my gosh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? I just, no, I just had one more, literally, if he had one more little toy, if he had one more little crap coming out of his butt and going into that expo, I totally would have got to, to two stars. 48%, guys. Um, I don't know what to say. There was one star there. But anyway, I think the previous battles completely make up for this one. Complete fail right here. I was so close to getting the two stars and didn't get it. Still happy though. Got a one star. 131,000 elixir, which is going to be a great benefit for me. And uh, I got four trophies. I still won. It was great. Thank you so much to AppNana. I can't thank him enough for supporting me through this battle. Supporting me through these battles, at least, in this episode. I hope we can work together, AppNana, again. Um, uh, it was great. Thank you so much. And uh, if you guys want to check out Abnana, I'll have everything in the description below, as I said before. So have a nice day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this level 5 minion gameplay. It took me a while to actually create it, think of what to do with it and all that stuff. So leave a like rating if you liked it. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more, guys. We're going to have some awesome content coming out. And also, leave a comment down below saying if you think it's going to be a good idea if I should do um, level 4 healers with only my Barbarian King and Archer Queen going in ham. So we're going to try that next time. And before I leave, I did want to mention something really quickly. If you guys didn't already know, Lennon and I are having a basically a competition between Matt and Divinic. If you don't know who he is, he was another Clash of Clans YouTuber. We're having a competition seeing who can have the most trophies in their clan. Uh, our clan being Noteworthy Games, his clan being Hyper City. Whoever has the most trophies at the end of two weeks gets $100, or we hand over $100 to each other, and that $100 is going to be distributed into the whole entire clan. So people on our clan are going to have the chance to win $100. So if you join our clan and... Um, you know, we win in the end of the two weeks if we have more trophies than him. So basically, we're pushing right now. If we have more trophies than him in the next two weeks, then um, everybody who's in that clan in the end of the two weeks will get the chance to win $100. So make sure you check that out. Our clan, No Worthy Games, I'll have it in the description below. It's just our channel name, No Worthy Games. So look that up in the search clans, and you'll find it, and you can join our clan. Um, I think it's going to be the one, because there's so many fake No Worthy Games ones, it's going to probably be the one with the uh, highest trophy count. So... I think we're right now at about 23 to 24,000. I think that's it. So join that. We're pushing right now. And um, make sure to favorite this video and share it with your friends, guys, showing off that level 5 minion gameplay. Hope you liked it. And I'll have some fails at the end. I go for like this really high resource gameplay with the level 5 minions. Completely fail. I didn't even get a one star. So uh, I think I have another one too that I got fail in. Um, that was in the process of making this video. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios. I tried to swim through the water I tried to swim till I could no more I felt the worms which you make it Now I wonder what I felt that for I can't repair what you've broken You left me locked up without the key And nothing's fair in this moment One way street Cause I